This is a great example of something the SAT does a lot in both modules. They give you a question that, for people who really know what they're doing, takes five seconds. And for other people who are less confident, less knowledgeable, less conceptual in how they think about things, they can still solve this question, but it's going to take them more like a minute. And a lot of questions involving statistics kind of fit this category because we can put formulas together, right? We can think about the, uh, in this case, they want the, um, the, the new data set, we want to compare the means of two data sets, right? So the mean is the average, and you should know the formula for the average. You could calculate the average of the eggs originally by adding up all of these numbers and then dividing by five, you're gonna get a mean. Then you do the same thing, but you add in the sixth number, the 121, and divide by six, and you can literally just compare those means. But if you're smart and you know what's up here, you're not gonna have to do that. Because look at that the set of first five numbers. The lowest number is 136. So the average is gonna be higher than that, right? Like I, I don't need to know what exactly it is, but I know how averages work. And I know if I add in 121, a much lower number than all the other numbers in the set, it's gonna bring the average down. Just instead of thinking about eggs, think about your tests, right, in school, right? If you have a certain you know, average and you get one bad grade, it's gonna pull your average down. So that is what is happening here. And so if we look at the answer choices, what's gonna happen? The mean of the original data set is greater than the mean of the new data set. Yes, because the new data set is gonna be pulled down by this 121 here, this lower number. Um, this is, like I said, a five second question if you understand just how these averages work. So there are lots of questions in the SAT where, the, where they're asking you to compare data sets like this, add in a value, take a value away, change the values in some way. Those are questions where in many cases, you can still do it the long way, but you really wanna at least, at least start out trying to think about a shortcut. Now, if you're unsure if that shortcut is correct, then do both ways, right? Come up with your guess first of like, okay, I think it's gonna make the mean lower because in this case, the, the value is lower. And then test that out by actually doing it. And especially since this is the first module, you're, if you're doing things right, you could still come back to this at the end if you've got like 10 minutes left and do it the long way just to be absolutely sure. But these are the questions that basically are gonna determine whether you get into the hard module or not because if you're getting really slowed down by something like this, you're not gonna have as much time for the harder questions later. But if this is a five second question for you, you're really pr protecting your time so that you can either check things over or have a lot of time to deal with the hard stuff. So try to notice when the SAT is doing that and try to take advantage of those shorter, uh, shortcuts, I guess, um, as much as possible.